good. Welcome to 10 over 10. Thank I you so much. I love everything Julie. about you. I love everything you're wearing. I love your sound. I love how you make me feel when I hear your music. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you how about we start with in individual introductions? Individual introductions. Yes. Um, my name's Alaki. Lucky May Soy. I'm a singer, songwriter, and choreographer, Halisi. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. My name is Galvin Kipkemboy Leting. I'm a singer, songwriter, guitarist, Halisi yeah. the band. Guitarist. <laughs> uh, I'm Eli, sings. I'm a vocalist for the band okay. and songwriter. Yeah. So what's, what's the backstory with you guys? How long have you been together as a group? And how did this all come together? And do you want to tell <laughs> Well, we've uh, sung together for quite uh, a while. We met way back uh, in uh, 2015. We've been singing together ever since. Uh, we were in a bigger band, but we rebranded. And uh, this is what came out of that. So we have a lot of great vibes coming yeah. through uh, from the music. Yeah. Oh, what would you say, so after the rebrand, what would you say represents Halisi now? Like the type of music that you sing, the things that you sing about, like what, what, what do you represent as, as a group? Well, we, are, first of all, we, we are Africans. We celebrate Africa in everything we do. Yeah, so we represent uh, our roots. That's the one thing that is Halisi, because it has to be authentic, and that's mm -hmm. where the originality or rather the authenticness yeah. is coming across, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The hallucinus. <laughs> the hallucinus. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the most constant thing. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, hey, a can, 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 can you behave <laughs> and I uh, will give me give me give me your style. What is it? We're basically uh, singing uh, Afro pop. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, that's the style of music. And right. in line with that, I, I think our music, when you're writing, we try to cut across uh, all generations. Mm -hmm. So we have a variety of songs, each song touching on a different story, a different situation, different group. So I think with Halisi, um, much has been catered for in the, in the music. Yeah, yes. so it cuts across. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, what has the journey been like? Because... It's not easy in this <laughs> in this business. I'm sure you guys have faced challenges at some point. What what have been some of the challenges of doing the type of music that you do, mm -hmm. staying authentic, like you're saying, uh, and you know passing across the message that you that you want to pass across. Um, one of the problems that we we faced, which is which is common for bands, mm -hmm. is uh, most people don't understand the sound that you guys are bringing forth until they get to like hear a lot of you a lot of your message until it gets to them that's when they will um let's say absorb or or embrace your music mm -hmm. um we are competing with nigerian music mm -hmm. up tempo kind of music and i think that's the kind of music that probably everybody's expecting of each and every artist in order to be dope in the industry yeah but um i think we, we would like to prove them wrong somehow yeah yeah speaking of the industry uh, you know, a lot of people feel like Kenyan artists don't get their due diligence in terms of like how they're paid and how promoters approach them. Uh, they feel like, you know, Bongo artists will be treated differently or Nigerian artists, like you're saying, uh, mm -hmm. you know, will be treated differently. Why do you think that is or do you think that's, that's true? Have you experienced that? Yeah, it is true. It's both uh, true and also I think there's some work for artists also to do in terms of packaging themselves. Mm -hmm. um, those guys are paid depending on how much work they have done, mm -hmm. how much uh, experience they've had in, in what they do. So um, I don't think it's entirely true. Uh, it's a matter of how we put ourselves out there. Mm -hmm. Also, I think I'd like to challenge um, um, us <laughs> as and Kenyan artists? As <laughs> artists. Uh, yeah, the Kenyan artists, of course, have put that out, but mm -hmm. also us who are consuming the music. Yeah. So which one do we want to support more? Mm -hmm. And that's why it's really nice for platforms like this to allow mm -hmm. original uh, artists, authentic artists, mm -hmm. to come and display their works. And yeah. I think 
Uh, that's a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, for people who've perhaps heard your music for the first time tonight and are wondering where can I hear more? Is it online? Uh, where can I access more Halisi? Um, our music is located across all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, there we have the links to our music on YouTube. Okay. And also, um, we are having a project coming up, okay. a release. It's coming up very soon, very soon in like a few weeks' time. And I think we'd like to like unjesha them uh, <laughs> what we have. Yeah. Yes. In the form of music, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right? sure. Because I know you guys are, are going to do another performance uh, yeah. for us here on 10 over 10. Do you want to introduce it or tell us anything about it? The thing hasn't spoken. Hey, right. <laughs> I prefer we just do that musically. We just, that's yeah. the thing, this guy is just like, let's get to the music. I respect that. Yeah. <laughs> Check out Alisi uh, online, Alisi the band. Yeah. Uh, online if you want to hear more of uh, their sounds. But for now, uh, more from Alisi here on 10 over 10. Yeah. A very big shout out to me.